Well, good morning friends, good morning saints. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. A little bit cold. I think I saw that it was like four degrees. I uh, went to clean off my bike, which I forgot to cover last night, and noticed that it's actually, the water on the bike is actually frozen. So yeah, it must have got a little bit colder than this overnight. So I've got frozen water on my bike. I guess that's called frost. Okay, here we go. Nice little walk down to the river. Such a beautiful, gorgeous day. Absolutely. Cold, but beautiful. Here we go. Somebody has left a dory, I think they're called, down at the river here. It's kind of cool. Actually, it looks like a sailboat. Yeah, that's a sailboat. That's been left behind. I actually saw one just like this, almost identical to this, for sale the other day on um, Kijiji. I wonder if this is it. Somebody bought it and then, for whatever reason, strange that it's here, but hey, very pretty little boat. Probably heavy as I'll get out. This has nothing to do with a walk to the river, right? Oh, actually, it's not heavy at all. Not at all. Wow. If that's for sale, I could turn that into a beautiful little fishing boat. Hmm. I'll have to find out. I don't know where, how, but look at that sunshine. That makes me happy. I think you guys are getting to know me pretty well, aren't you? Just from these little walks to the river. Kind of my, my personality just shines right through some of this stuff, doesn't it? Look at that. Beautiful little uh, mist on the water, too. Couple ducks. Literally couple, male and female. Just gorgeous. But that's not what you're here for, totally. I think it's part of our adventure every morning. Just come down and see the beauty of nature. But uh, the other reason why we're here is uh, because of this. We've got something to read. We've got something to consider, something to study, something to hear. Yesterday's message was on the, the storm and the darkness and how God is so faithful in those times and how we lean on him and he is our refuge. Well, I want to take it a step further today. Same thought still, you know, the darkness, the storms. I'll take it just a step further though. And want to remind you what the scripture says. I'm going to turn around so you can read it. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And this, my friends, is from Matthew 5, verses 14 to 16. The darker things are, the more even a little bit of light makes a difference. In today's day and age, in our situation today, my friends, I think it's probably the best opportunity we've ever had in our lifetime to let the light of Christ shine through. Met with a person yesterday who was in a very, very dark place. And it's in those dark places that light can so easily and effectively shine in. 
So friends, let your light today shine. Let Christ in you be seen by those around you. Wherever you are, whoever you meet with, let the light of Christ, let the very presence of Christ, let the existence of Christ, the reality of Christ, the grace of Christ, the Spirit of Christ shine out through you that he might get the glory and that they might know him. Let's pray. Father, today we thank you for light. We thank you for the hope that we have. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you are, so much more than we've ever needed or desired. And so, Father, less of me and more of you today, please, so that the world might know Jesus. Allow me today, O oh God, to encounter people who are in a dark place, so that today the light of Christ might shine through me for your honor and glory. These things I pray in Jesus' beautiful and bright name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, each and every one of you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I think I said it yesterday, and I think I said it the day before, but I'm going to say it one more time. You need to sign up for church on Sunday. And I don't think I've included the link on this. So I'm going to include it today. One way or another, I will include it today. If I don't, feel free to email me, call me, text me, whatever, and go, hey, where's the link? All right. Call me to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it today. God bless you. Bye-bye.